Good morning. Here we go. pretty good there seems to be I'm gonna take a look at some orders roboticist doctor damn abstract damn you make a good point I'm considering oh well thank you for dropping by even if you can't stay it's appreciated. I was considering starting the day off trying to go get these precious paintings for Hartman, just getting us started. I think it'd be a fun time to. I got it, seems to have a sticky gun. Sort of a fun thing to do. Maybe take an assault rifle, just in case we see one of those gold boys. He mats. Torgo, good morning. Uh, let's auto arrange the cargo. Seems I'm low on blood bags. Sam's looking up. Order assigned. I'm sorry that you have that situation happening. And I hope that it improves. Wait, private, put that, put that boy in the private locker. There we go. I thought it would be fun to start off by doing some, going to get something for the boy, our boy. All right, loaded for bear now, I think. Assault rifle, a sticky gun. Should be able to pretty much do whatever we need to. Should be able to get there and back safely to go get these things from a boy. Deliverance pretty good. I am going to Oh yeah, look at that. I have a it is exactly where I have a zip line. Take a climbing anchor. I think we'll be able to do this without too much trouble. He gave me a mission like, go get my stuff. So, I'm gonna go get his stuff. Morning, Francine. Well, we're here. We are gonna do the paleontologist, but I thought it would be fun to start off with some, with the continuing to take these. Nice zips we made here the other yesterday. Weapons restrictions. Oh look at those, those already have like a ton of likes. Oh yeah. Uh we did go really just we went to go see the paleontologist. And we no, we went to go see the geologist. We did the geologist thing. Uh made a perfect zip situation to get them. And now There's this thing for Hartman, and I realized I kind of had a perfectly placed zip line to deal with that without too much trouble, so I figured I'd just do it. And it looks like 
that there's some monsters there. I wonder if I can... What's the range on this SG? That's what a pro gamer calls the sticky gun. I bring, like, why do I do that? I bring, I bring my, all right, let's try that. That's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah. I believe I'm beginning to see the merits of this device. Come on, just, just build. Please just build. If you would just... It's called a hot water bottle, Francine. They make them. Just kind of slip it in your construction zone. Torgo, uh, trilobite mandible. Fascinating field of study. I would love to know. There's so many different kinds of them. I would love to. I would love to know your studies on trilobite mandibles. out that one I just built. Which one was it? This one? Yeah. Level one? Yeah. Bridges ID. According to the thing about yourself. Clear. Weapon is detected. All weapons will be locked until the here. Cargo verified. Thank you. Morning. Oh, sorry. Let me turn myself up here. How's that? Alright, I, I just need to keep mine on max gain and just stop being self-conscious about it. Alright. Well, starting the day off with a perfect delivery. Here, I'll just turn down the game a little bit. Delivery complete. How's that? Displaying performance evaluation. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little picture of that so I don't forget. Have myself at zero dB and the game at negative twenty six. There we go. Oh, hello. Thank you for your continued support. Almost maxed out with the H man. Good that's work. what that's you what those in the know call Hartman. Or those of us who are his close friends. Let's see, the doctor, Mountain Oz City. Okay, he doesn't have any for more for. Morag, morning. Alright. So our next one is going to be. Oh, geez. Where is the next one going to be? That's the geologist. Let's see. Question is, do I take on an order for Sam? Oh, an antimatter bomb delivery. These are always fun. Let's see. Okay, it's showing me, like, I can see on the map the faint green outline here of where I've been before. It uh, looks like there's even a zip there that can get me most of the way. And then it's just a safe journey down the, a mountainside with an antimatter bomb. Listen up, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Paleontologists. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful. Famously love using explosives. <laughs> but in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Oh, for real? You sure? You want me to be careful when I'm transforming the antimatter bomb? What would I do without you, Die Hardman? This fucking guy. Got a good assault rifle. Got my sticky gun. Got some grenades. Some he mats. Hmm. I think I'm mostly good. Unless there's some terrorists up here I don't know about. Whew. I could bring a floating carrier. I will, just because everybody loves them. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb. This fucking especially guy. Especially when transporting it via carrier or vehicle. Yeah. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. I'm gonna ignore the fuck out of that alarm. I'm gonna ignore that alarm so hard. I can't wait to ignore that goddamn alarm. Well, this is an 80 kilogram antimatter bomb, but I'm sure most of that is just the casing. It's probably like a. Let's see. Okay. Climbing anchor. Oh, it looks like there's actually zips. Literally, like, bam, bam. Like, almost all the way to it. Let's see if, I, let's see if that works. The idea of it is certainly very funny. I'm just like... No, no, like, no problem just zipping right there. Let's see.
Yeah, that's a good point, Elbledo. Maybe... Hmm. That actually raises a really interesting question. Let's see, which one am I? Alright, I'm heading to mine, the blue one. Although, he's proving very easy to max out. Alright, let's see what I can reach from here. I don't think those are going to reach, but let's see. There's that green one. This doesn't actually seem like a terrible place to build a zipline. Is it there? Oh, 386. Okay. Damn. Shucks. Beans. Hmm. Thank you, Abstract. You have a good one. We will catch you later. Maybe if I can just get within range of it. What level is it? It's level 3. I only have to get a little closer. Hearing this antimatter bomb down this mountainside. This is quite, quite a thing. All right, how close are we now? Oh. Where are those going? 290 seems some sort of obstacle. I wonder if it's the mountainside. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Oh shit, my antique art. I put that in the I'm gonna put that one under the special cover. Can I not do that? What are these? What do these mean? Hmm, it seems I can't. Shield, morning. Logan. Oh! The storm stopped. While I was looking.
good. Hey. Yeah. yeah it's so funny, like, playing this game and remembering, like, and, like, it's like a, a like playing this game every day and then going and looking at people complaining about the stamina, about, like, having to wait for their stamina to recharge in Breath of the Wild. It's just like... What? What is what is a video game to you? Yeah, people are fixing my auto pavers and such. Oh, y'all are on that soft something awful tip. I never got into that. Uh, me and friends seen some of the friends hung out on the uh, hung out on the wor a worse forum. <laughs> I just mean worse in, in like terms of like still shitty but not but not as funny. <laughs> hmm. Well I simply don't want to do that. There we go. That's a grand old team we play for. I love my antimatter bomb sandwich. Oh, yeah, I got it cut. Thank you. I got. My first real haircut in a couple of years. Thank you, A Woods. Uh, A Woods. Oh. And now we mute because. Patience by Low Roar, courtesy of Tonequake Records. And when I say courtesy, I mean I will, I will be kicked out of streaming if I don't need the game right now. Sorry. Look we'll at mail from the geologist about. Uh. Yeah, I'm I'm far I'm relatively far, Midgar Stormer, but I'm also in no hurry, and I play this game in a very in a way that is means it'll be a while before I finish. I five star everyone, and I'm building a zipline network that crisscrosses, crisscrosses apple sauces around around all things, covers the whole. Dang world. Every single person. From start to finish. I will. No one's left out. Oh yeah, no, it's cool. I'm just stating my premises. I think the game experience highly benefits from my play style of doing it that way and playing it for 90 minutes a day. I don't get frustrated or bored because I'm just... Okay. I'm just playing it for as long as I play it. It's like a. I call it. I call it my morning crossword. Wait. Okay. I just took a picture of what my decibel level should be. Let's save that so I won't lose it again. Twenty six. Boop. 
Oh, I got an email from the paleontologist. No, from the geologist. Dear Sam, thanks to you, the chiral contamination's all cleared up. Nasty symptoms, though. Dizziness, headaches, insomnia. First, I was worried it, it was all down to my isolation in this here shelter and the intense focus on my research for the last year. But it got real bad when the nightmares started. I saw the end of the world. A portal to the beach open and, and BTs pouring through by the thousands, by the thousands. There was nowhere to run, no time. And they began scooping us up one by one, putting us in their tucker bags. And then the void outs came bigger and bigger until a massive one, or several massive ones, enveloped the whole, whole bloody world. And poof, just like that. I told Oppen about it. He likened it to the visions of extinction, doom, sufferers tend to experience. It's strange, though. After all, we now have incontrovertible proof that Chiralium is far from a recent addition to the world, to our world. Anyway, that's a problem for a different day. The important thing is that I'm cured. It's all thanks to you, brother. That was, that was just for you. Just a little treat. Okay, this would be... Wait, Veteran Porter? Hello. Uh, not really. Shindrel, it's like, the music doesn't really split up that way. Where is that? It's way over there. Okay, um... I'm going to grab that in case something goes down with this antimatter bomb. Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, I have not considered doing books on tape. I've that you know what? I'll do it. I will now consider it. I'm into this shit. The first thing, I, the first, my first consideration for Coffee with Cohen was just going to be, I read a chapter of Dune every day on the stream. And then I thought about it for even three seconds, and I was like, oh, right, that's like massive copyright infringement. <laughs> it's not exactly transformative to just read a book. Ooh, I like them special alloys, though. Alright, let's see where this cargo goes for this veteran porter. Uh, what not? Show me? Hmm. Maybe it won't show me while I'm holding it. I don't know. I'm gonna deliver. I could commentate it. I guess, like, ultimately, I'm just, like, I wanted to do something, too, that was a little bit more different than that. <laughs> I wouldn't cut anything. That's the problem. I would just be like, this is perfect. I have to read every single word. Appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Beg pardon? Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all. <laughs> this guy's. So I, I, and for the life of me, imagine how. This guy's doing a lot of nervous chuckles for someone I just delivered a fucking bomb to. It's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Here's your antimatter bomb. This is the exact same thing. 
Yeah, it's good to have Casey back. We can still do guest stuff. It, it makes it a lot easier. Speaking of, we got the return of Fallout Fridays today at noon. Very exciting. Starting starting Honest Arts, Honest Hearts. Uh, a very, one of the DLCs. Very exciting. It's the one that Josh Sawyer wrote. Sort of most completely directed, and I love his work. So I'm excited about that. You can set up the Cairo network while I work. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now he's like he's like the the Fallout New Vegas guy. He's the he's the reason that it's he's the reason that it's good as opposed to Fallout Three. I know a lot of people contribute contributed to it, and I'm shamelessly indulging in a little bit of auteur game maker description, but. Oh, yeah, look at all them strands. Oxygen mask. Level two pneumatic grenades. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done Fallout Fridays in like a month. The local porter was on his way here with something very valuable. Dropped it on route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. Oh, that's he an Oma Star. Across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier. But Sounds like an Oma Star. Not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. Oh, that's an umbilical cord. Those don't. Totally skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with... I didn't want an amateur to Pacific, do it. Which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Okay. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you, you could track it down. Hmm. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask, just to be safe. Ooh, new, flo new poison flavor. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would <clears> also <throat> correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. Well, We're sure. so close, so very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Sure, sure, sure. Like, order available. Please act. definitely going to get on that. Uh, any minute now. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. Huh. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so still... All right. What makes these improved? I wonder. Okay. What do I have here that's basically almost? What was the one? There was the anti cart. That okay. That pretty much it needs to stay here until I get a zipline network going here. Um, let's see. Oh, I accidentally brought two climbing anchors. Put that one away. Uh, this one. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What should I do here? How 
How many, uh, you got any of them, uh, chemicals? Alright, claim some mats, like we do. 240, I saw some. I saw some special. Yeah, there was an episode of Sherlock, of uh, Elementary, like that. It's... People literally killed over a fossil. To try to protect their theories. And I was like, <laughs> alright. I don't think that's how this works. It's cute though. It's fun. Love Elementary. Okay, so... Hmm... Alright. Did I build that just now? Yes. Why? It's 385. I guess because it's about... Hmm. Somewhere about here. 762. So that one's what about... That's about 380. So that's too far, I think. Isn't it? Shit. Should have paid more attention. Uh, which direction is that? Um, hmm. Did see some for the geologist over there. Oh, Morag. Hey. Ch uh, you have changed your Twitch name. I, I know it's you because you got a little sword. Morag. Morag Mon. Time. Okay, that really is quite good. That's on the other side, is what's going on there. Look, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm. Don't worry. I will see. I will go see that umbilical cord trilobite. I, that does sound pretty good. Can I just get? Yes. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, no. I'm either gonna do yeah, I am gonna either do that or find the vet. At the moment, I'm wondering if I'm figuring I'm trying to figure my best means of connecting this person. What the hell is that way the hell over there? Oh, something else for the geologist. Okay. How am I doing on the geologist? I feel like I almost already almost Yeah, we're already four stars. That boy. Now I'm going to be thinking about, okay, as best I can tell, I won't have a ton of reason, like, okay, there, okay, geologist is, that one's, how far is that? I want to say, the distance, oh, I gotta do it from me too there. Oh, it won't do that when I have this right. Okay. 813. So I need to pick a place that gets me inside 700. I think if I go, and then my typical thing is to get one inside 700 and then drop one down. 
next to the actual person for delivery. Oh, that's nice. Got some climbing anchors and ladders. I could use that ladder to get up this mountain. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay. At least that's not a delivery. It's just a lost cargo. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... Alright. Yeah, maybe the porter is the way to go right now. But... Mm. I don't seem to need a thermal pad here. Although maybe I will once I actually get up on the mountain. No, that doesn't seem to be a snowy mountain. Alright, I'm gonna grab that ladder. That's what I was actually going in here for. Yeah, I'm thinking... Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking I get up on this mountain, build one up there, I'll be within 700... I should be within 700 of... Either one, oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. If I get up on this mountain, I. Of course, the question, I guess, is going to become. Hmm. Will that put me within enough of there? Let's see. How many PCCs I got? Two? Yeah, I can do it in two. Ladders. I got these nice things people have left. It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be good forever. Hell yeah, that's the attitude I like to see, Sam. <gasps> this one's this ladder this one's from the paleontologist. not polite. Hold on. I'm going to throw this to someone. I can actually use it, potentially. There we go. I'm not pulling up the rope behind me. Like some kind of freshly graduated Cal Art student. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. Getting up that mountain, baby. Walked up worse. It's true, Sam. Make sure I'm not getting too far out of sight of the paleontologist. He should be off to my left. 
Yes. Did I build a zip line down there so I could get back to that easily? You bet your ass I did. Now within, easily within those. And if it looks like if I'm making my, like if that's my line, and that's it's 544. That's if like, no, that's roughly my spot. Is that where does that line go? Let's see. That line is going to go right across the mountain, huh? Hmm. So how far up here is the mountain? I wish I could tilt this map slightly to get some get a sense of elevation. Can I do that? Oh, I can. Oh shit. That's useful. Okay. Alright. So what I wanna do then is Okay, that's actually very helpful. Yeah. So I want to place my marker not there, but here. Alright, what's my line of sight now? still over the mountain, come on. Fair enough. Well, if I go another 100 here, if I get up to that peak, I think I'll, like where I put the, I think I'll, will I be able to see over, is that like the shoulder of the, it'll only, still only, it'll be like only 300 of the geology, so I think what I should do is that. Self, got that good Friday energy. Got got some worms in the chat, perhaps. Fingers crossed. Can I get some worms in the chat, please? There, they, thank you. Oh hell yeah. There they are. There's my worms. Thank you. Okay, how close am I to my... Oh, I'm right on top of it, okay. So from right up here... Do I have line of sight to the geologist? God, I really wish I had built one. Paling Bush. God, I wish I had built one over there. Um, Is that what that peak is right there? Or 
Where's my... Hmm... Tilt the map again. Uh, hmm. It looks like I won't quite have line of sight, but what if I. Okay, there, but what about up here? Hmm. Oh look, it even shows like the elevation. If I zoom in on it, that's, I wish I'd known this. That's very helpful. You know what, I'm glad I know it now. Hmm. Hmm. So what am I really trying to do here? Is a good question. Am I trying to overthinking those. Can I place a marker from here? Oh shit, I can. And it'll tell me distance. Okay, so that one's I just placed. Oh, that's not where I meant to place that. Okay, but it is telling me that those that's what those peaks are that I'm seeing. So I'm not gonna get have line of sight easily is what I'm picking up. Where's that? Where's that? That I just placed. That's over there, okay. Two sixty two. Alright, if this is the one I'm trying to get to, that's what I should do. Okay. Oh, I'm... Oh, I won't stop running. Stop moving soon. <laughs> yeah, I feel that, buddy. I'm gonna find like build one right. That's where I already built one. Right. Is there any more? It's probably why I put one there. Oh, 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 almost dropped all that shit. Why did I put you here? I wonder. What was my what was I thinking when I built this one? Oh yeah, we're big ocean respecters here.
Okay. I guess that one's... Yeah, I guess I was hoping I'd be able to zipline through that. Hmm. Where's the goddamn tallest part of this mountain? Where's the peak? Is that it up there? Do some Pythagorean theorem. What's the length of that? Three eighty four. A triangle with three eighty four, two eighty. And it's not, but it's not a right angle. So. Yeah, mug check. Oh, I got my my Baymax mug, my Bay mug this morning. Let's see, he's got a little band-aid on the back. Very cute. <sighs> hmm. There's a zip line up there? Is that hmm. is that why I did it? Because there's a zip line up there already? That was it. Lord and Blood of Fish, we are... I don't know what I'm doing right now, to be honest. Having fun. I think that's going to be my best bet, is to build where that other person built one. Oh, it's out of range. Okay. I just ruined my chemicals and special allies. I really should have thrown that into those. <sighs> well, you're not doing me any good now. Right? Oh no, it's just a container, and now it's starting to damage the actual thing. Okay. Oh, my all-terrain skeleton just got ruined. Shit. Well. No point carrying it, then. I guess I really wanted to build a zipline on top of that mountain. And I guess I'm going to do it whether it's a good idea or not.
yeah, Torgo, you gotta get that upgraded. and 300 so it's only going to be about 200 distance but it does it is going to give me great a great angle I play it, like 99% of the game is ziplining. Oh, this is my own zipline. No wonder it was so well placed. There we go. This is the one I want. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good zip line. Highest point. Things are looking rough for our boy Sammy though. I don't have also Fun to note, I do not have a thermal pad currently active. Alright. I don't have to have it, I'm just underlining the, the pain that my boy is in. Mm. Is this well done? Yes. From here I'll be able to get down to that one. Good. I think. Not quite to that one, but I should be able to at least kind of escape from this situation I've created. one's 160. Can I get to 215 or 162? Yes. Where's 291? I don't want either of those. I want 215 and 162. Okay. 256 is going to take, is backwards. Okay. Yeah, all right. Start with two fifteen. Yes. All right. Okay, from where I am now, how far is the paleontologist? Three hundred and fifty. If I can get down there and build one that connects here, then that will be quite good. Where is 
is my boy. From here. The paleontologist. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Hot down, follow this path. Should be able to do it, yeah. Just... Alright. And just like that, I think we're gonna have the paleontologist on our zip network. I might have to warp back to Hartman and then come back with, come back through carrying uh, chemicals so that I can connect to them. We'll see. So I can upgrade that one because it's 350 and the one that I just used is not. But I'm pretty pleased with how the network is shaking out right now now what this edition is going. I'm not gonna make the mistake again of leaving and leaving a safe area without recharging though. The batteries. Alright. Too good at zip lines, frankly. Oh, I still have chemicals. Oh, nice. And I saw special alloys out there. Okay. So I can recycle these so that I can get a fresh, fresh batch. See if this is gonna work. Hmm. Where's that one I just used? There. Get rid of all my shit. That one. There we go. I think it, I'm going to be able to place that like Weapons restrictions lifted. right here and then just scroll. Yep. Obstacle. I mean, maybe. I do have a natural, uh, I do have a natural and innate understanding of how things are supposed to be and go.
you just pay attention to what's you to the use to what people want take into consideration various concerns uh, do need to miss my I did forget to pick up those special alloys okay so this little run down hill won't be too much of a trouble it looks like no good That's true. Okay. I, as long as you are keeping. Alright. Now I'm normally going to have a skeleton here. But I'm not building that right this second because I'm too focused on what I'm doing. Maybe should have built it anyway. Close to what, sir? This guy. Sometime. Alright. Now, if I just. Now, the one that's 383, I think that one's basically useless to me at this point. But I'm going to do a quick run and make sure. Alright, let's... Uh Upgrade this one, and that should put us, that should situate us well for having a line all the way from, I'm just upgrading this out of, uh, because it's in the snow, so it's for the best, I think, because it's just constantly going to be getting time fall. I'm not wrong, Svervis, I just understand how things are supposed to be. It's like, oh, this should be this way. Structure upgraded. The fu no. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mama loving. There we go. Just what I need. There. Okay, there we go. I wish I didn't have to have that in between her. There, because that's. Wait, which one is out of range? Which one, wh which one is 385? Oh, it's right behind. No? What is that? What is this horse shit it's showing me? Only show me... Zip. Okay. What zip line is 385 away if it's out of range here? Okay, it should be past the it should be in the direction of the 94. Oh, it's that one. Huh. Hmm, that is rather close. Oh well, nothing for it. All right, now let me just make sure this actually works.
And I don't mind looping around these buildings, that's kind of fun. Yeah. And that's going to loop, loop to my heart one one down there. All right. Success. Need it to be. Yup, I got rid of the banana sound clip because it. Uh, I, I'm free of that game. No more bananas for a while. You can still have that. You can have the Nightbot. Banana. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, lots of stuff in this. Oh. Those are some nicer boots than the ones I have, I think. Uh. Okay, none of these are any good for me. All right. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's see if we got any private locker here. All right, geologist, geologist. And Hartman. Let's make those deliveries, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get that assault rifle back. What am I forgetting? Oh, a skeleton. Does he have the mats here to make that? I've actually got skeletons of plenty back at, but you know. Yeah, let's go all terrain. Let's go silver this time just for fun. Oh, the final DK stream is on YouTube, I believe. It's Pretty fun. The last one was a success. I would describe it thusly. Huh, okay. And you do have this guy does does have enough special alloys for me to upgrade that. I'm ex I'm already thinking about honest hearts. In like two and a half hours gonna be fun it's a uh, it's more it's a lot more open worldy than dead money it's like you have it's not as you're not as completely limited to a path and like a specific follow this follow that so oh I almost made that mistake I said I wasn't gonna make uh, I don't actually see a generator here so fuck it I'll recharge back there Huma! good morning and I'm happy for you for sleeping out. Weapons restrictions I think it is a travesty that we have all agreed to, that we agreed that there are specific times that we have to get up. Ugh. Don't love it. Alright. 
take this baby for a spin. Now, where's my split to get me to the geologist? There. Yes, okay. Oh, this you were Paul you were Paul Rudd. And a lock picker. And a lock picker was Paul Rudd. Giant skeletal rhinos in a redwood forest. Sounds like somebody needs to place in Horizon Zero Dawn. Seventy-two to one hundred. Yes, that'll get me back down. That'll get me down to the geologist. <laughs> Romantic. Romantic. All right. Wait. Wait. Where's the geologist? Oh, he's to the right. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, sick. There's a Hartman, like, right there. I think. How far is that? Nice. It's right here. I think we're about to fight. I think we're in a five-star Hartman to wrap up the day. You know what, Boom Up, I finished it the other night, and I say it is worth going in and doing that. I had done all the side quests and everything, and they were, uh, that paid off. There was acknowledgement of that, which is all I want. Let's see. First, let's deliver this lost cargo. Nope, I'm going to take those to Poppy myself. Hey. Sam, I'm glad you're here. Wow. I have to say, I'm in awe of what you've done. You have my utmost respect. Oh, uh, yeah, we almost got the geologist there. We just met that guy. People are forever giving me things to take to the roboticist. Oh well, I'll grab those. That's on the way. Oh. I see. Oh, yeah, the floating rock samples have a very low weight, but there's a lot of them. That's fun. I'll do that later. Everybody likes the roboticist. Everybody's got a big crush on the on the tech savvy single mom. I get it. All right, I'm just gonna take on that one because it seems like usually a pain in the ass, but I think I can do it now. 
Nope. Nope. It is nine packages. That is more than I can carry right now. How much shit do I have? Oh, yeah, I don't need this ladder or this climbing anchor anymore. Or this, honestly, this assault rifle can go. Sticky gun's pretty good, but it's about to be ruined, so I'm going to fabricate a new one. All right. Y'all sold me on the sticky gun. It is quite good. Okay. Take on. Can I do it this time? No. Oh, those are big packages. That's why. Okay. I'll take... What if I take the heavy one? Is that still mine more large? Okay, those are both. Okay, that one's not so hard. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're off. Thank you for your contribution. That's blocked. Oh. I need to upgrade this one when I come back through. Or Proper placing of selfish pleasures is quite pleasures. It's quite a, a sentence. I love how loud the wind gets. Uh, see, shellfish pleasures would have meant I would have already done the... I would have had to do that ammonite. Ha -cha. I like a bath in the evening. I like a shower in the morning and a bath in the evening. Bath, bath is a good time to read. Kind of think, let myself kind of decompress, think about the day, or not think about the day, as the case may be. One of my favorite things about not living in an area that is in a drought anymore is I don't feel guilty. I can take a long shower without feeling uh, guilty. Here you go, Hartman. I got you some bullshit. Delivering See, I, I do light bets. It's the same thing I do. Displaying performance evaluation. Come on, Hartman. Come on, Hartman. Yes! A little enthusiastic, but we five starred Hartman. Cargo address to Porter awaiting collection. Y'all know what it is. Oof, 
with the fourth star on the third row. Yes. Thank you for your continued support. Good work. New like work. I say, I live by the water now. It's not as it's not as much of a an issue. I live next to the water, so it's like I guess I could just not take showers like in so like, like not take a bath like in solidarity but the water is coming out of the ocean so it's feels fine And to be honest, I'm a bit of the opinion that uh, you minimize your harm as much as you can, but you also have to exist. Because a person. And so there's only, like, sometimes it's like, well, there's only, there's literally only so much I can do. Gonna be able to carry all these? Yes. Alright. These are superfluous deliveries. I'm just doing them because I feel like it. Oh yeah, if your teeth if your teeth are falling out. Here, I'm gonna I'll do some dream interpretations. Uh, if your teeth are falling out, it means that uh, you need to go to the dentist. Uh, if there's a donkey in your dream. Uh, it means that you are Christ, and you will enter the city of Jerusalem on the back of a donkey with palm fronds laid at your feet. Not a lot of people know that, but that's what that means. Which way to get to connect? Is it? Where is this one? Go? I feel like I, I don't have the teeth falling out, but I have a I have what I believe to be a similar dream, uh, which is I, my my private theory is that the teeth falling out dream comes from trying to chew something in your dream and not having the tactile sensation of biting. And I have a similar one where sometimes in I'll get into in a dream I'll get into a fight with somebody, and it's like. It doesn't, like, I'm, I'm punching them and there's no impact. There's no feeling of tactile impact. So that's upsetting. Um, I used to have that as a recurring dream until I finally had a dream where instead of punching somebody, I stabbed them to death. And I was like, ah! Oh, I have to. And then I don't have, and I didn't have that dream anymore. I was just like, how do I kill this? I, I will have a nightmare that recurs until I solve it in some way. Right, that's how it works for me. Like, I gotta. What the? Like, once I do the thing that stops the nightmare from happening. Like, like I had a, I had a friendship fall uh, deteriorate with somebody who lived really near to me, like about five or six years, I guess this would have been like eight or nine years ago. And I used to have stress dreams because this was like one of my closest friends and I was like, what am I going to do if I run into him? What am I going to do if I run into him? Like I kept having that dream and then I finally ran into him. And it was fine and then I stopped having the dream. That's just how it works for me. I don't. I, I think it, it might be because I once read the theory that nightmares were how we were our brain trying to solve problems in our sleep. And 
I'm, maybe I internalized that the man I've been waiting to, to the see. point that it worked. Huh. I'm doing all these roboticist ones because. Ooh, wait, what? That's new. I just got a new interview with her, but I already had her five starred. You're the best, Sam. I owe you. Come back anytime. Huh? Maybe there is a point Good to doing order. this. New order available. Please access Geologist, I'm not going to be like Hartman. Interesting. Dear Sam, I made a full recovery thanks to you, and I've been able to push on in my race with my research. I've also come to an important realization. Basic science alone won't unlock the mysteries of the Death Stranding. No. What we're dealing with requires something special. A kind of genius. You know who I'm talking about, right? Hartman. He's the most brilliant mind of his generation. And what's more, he has dooms. Not that long ago, and this is just between ourselves, I wanted to be just like him. Not anymore, though. Not after that bout of chiral contamination. Now not only do I not nev never do I know I could never be like him, I'm actually glad that I'm not. I couldn't take it. I couldn't deal with the nightmares, with having to death as my constant companion. Fate might have been kind to him in some ways, but in others. Well, now that I know what he suffers, let's just say that. His suffering's your burden, too. I know that. But listen, if there's anything I can do to make your life easier for any of you, let me know. I understand I'm never going to be the genius who cracks the Death Stranding, but I'm not useless either. I'm here to help. Hmm. There we go. Delivery terminal for further information. Let me see. Oh, that's quite heavy. Can't be carrying that, can I? Can I? It says I'm already carrying 244 things. Oh yeah, I got all these books for him. And vehicle parts for the geologist. Alright, I'll take this. Take orders on. Take on orders. There's an obstacle right here that keeps me from connecting right there. That oh, it's this. Ah. Oh. oh well, I don't really need to do that. I can always just do this. Marble kick. Not being able to close doors all the way implies that there are issues in your life which exist in a lim liminal state. Not yet problems, but not quite harmless either. Something you feel. Unable to resolve. Like a whisper in the wind. Scratching at the window. Yeah, it's fun. I'm having fun doing that, actually. Wahoo! Yeah, maybe that. Maybe it's that. Or maybe it's what you said. That makes more sense. You know your own life better than I do. <sighs> See, I'm of the impression that dream interpretation, much like the tarot, 
is the presentation of, much like doing like tarot readings, is the presentation of someone, it's presenting yourself with a, a rebus, it's pre presenting yourself with a symbol rich Rorschach that you can kick stuff loose in your head to understand better. Like if, how does it make you feel, etc. And you implant the meaning which can access parts of your brain that you might not otherwise. But then that tells you something that you might not know otherwise. Much in the way that like sad music can help you process feelings, etc. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, I'm getting more, I'm getting all these like interviews for doing these things when I already have them. I didn't know that there were, there was data locked behind deliveries, shit, well, the specific deliveries, so I guess I'll be doing that. Oh, we got one more. Oh, should I grab that one for the geologist before we wrap up for the day? Five star the geologist, go into the week with a five-star geologist. Yeah, why not? Exactly. I do have that veteran porter package. I'm going to be doing that on a... Uh, I'm going to do that on Monday. I'm going to start us off with that. That'll be fun. Something new to do. I might be able to take on one more. Here. Order assigned. For th that roboticist one, you know that I'm. Oh, that'd be too much, huh? Yeah, that's too much. Which, uh, actually, which. I think I know what it seems to be. Which one do I have equipped? Oh yeah, the all-terrain. Yeah, I need to switch out for my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I might, now I should be able to do it. Right? Or is it the number of packages that's going to make this a problem? Let's see. Nope. I can do it. Alright. Just barely. Okay. We're going to go roboticist, geologist, and then call it a day. But I will be back. Folks, we got a Discord, etc. If you're new today, if you're new folks, we got a Discord. Uh, this uh, in about an hour, KC is gonna hop on and play some Binding of Isaac, doing his his thing there. And then about an hour after that, so if you're keeping track at home, that's uh, noon Eastern, 1 p.m. Atlantic. We'll be how I'll be starting up Honest Hearts and we're. Reese, we're picking up Fallout Fridays after a month off. Good gosh, but it's going to be a hoot and a holler. It's a fun DLC. It, you don't lose all your stuff when you start it, which is nice. It's it's not like the thing that happens in Dead Money. So we'll be able to take some of our good gear, keep things from being too tedious in that regard. Oh, I need to upgrade this one when I remember. Let's see. Which way to roboticist? 277, right? Yeah. That'll be fun. YouTube, I'm going to upload those. Uh, I'm still in the process of putting those Zeldas together. I have I have them the files saved, but because I have to then render them, they take as long to render 
as a single file as they did to uh, as they do to watch. So it's like it's sometime it has to be sometime when I'm not using my computer for four hours. And frankly, that hasn't uh, happened in the last couple of days. All right. Drop this package off with the roboticist. Now I'm like, oh, I gotta do all these fucking deliveries to get these additional interviews and such. I did not know about that. I thought five-starring somebody would get you all that they had to say. Uh, I am using uh, DaVinci, which is good. I like it. It just takes a while to render. Four hours of, like, four hours of video. Here's your springs, honey. A good hole indeed. Let's go five star that geologist and then we'll call it a day, baby. Da Vinci, uh, whatever. I can't remember what it's called, but it was, I asked months ago, what's the best free one? if you don't really know much about video editing. And uh, that was the recommendation I got. I had this idea that I was gonna edit all the Fallout Fridays down to like very digestible, like 30 minute things, but it quickly turned into a full-time job and kind of made me, was affecting the way I was doing. I was playing it and making it less fun because I was too, I was like, oh, this, this is gonna be too hard to edit. And I was like, I don't want to care about that, actually. Oh. Well. Shield, let's let's talk, huh? Because I'm like beating my head. I'm like beating my head against it. Getting frustrated very fast. Look at that, that's so goddamn pretty. Is Da Vinci whatever good? Is The simple brilliance of The Sims giving you like a series of joke things that it was doing to make the loading process uh, more amusing, an installation process, like amusing while you're like sitting there watching the computer do some do nothing from your perspective was cannot be overstated. IMHO. There's a couple of things. Maybe we could try some screen share if you have time. There's a, like there's a couple of things I would like I would like to understand better. Okay. Here we go. Wahoo! We went a little longer today. I guess that's often the case on Fridays, though. Sam Bridges. 
good to Star Trek looking motherfucker. Such a generous delivery. I suppose I ought to give you credit. I am almost certainly doing something wrong. I absolutely believe you. Oh shit. We did it. And there's several several hundred more van clip. Yes. Oh, and seven hundred more kills. Fives all around. Tell me, uh, do you have any use for this? If so, it's yours. That's 25, two rows and five. I don't know how many are on a row. All right, best get back to work. Good luck out there, Sam. Good luck, guy. Good work. New order available. I just want to see what the new order is. Oh, those are... Those I can do Monday morning. All right, folks. That's gonna do it. Thanks for stopping by. Casey will be here an hour. I'll be I'll be there an hour later. See y'all. Much love. Ah, oh, yeah. Time to get nasty. Oh, gotta end the stream. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Marble King, Name, Shindel, Torgo, Max, Shield. We'll have a good time later. Spur. Peace.